So what we're going to do now is do some kitchen chemistry. We're going to mix this stuff up for us as we speak. Uh, to make 3% alcohol resistant AFFF, we're going to start with uh, alcohol resistant foam. As you can see, it is very thick and gooey. And this is regular AFFF. Not so thick and gooey. Alcohol resistant foams have a property called thixotropic otherwise self-shearing and I should be able to lift this up fairly easily with an eyedropper and there I am right at three milliliters I have three milliliters of alcohol resistant foam in that eyedropper so if someone says the foam is too thick to proportion uh, you need to rethink it because alcohol resistant foam is designed to thin as it moves now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that three milliliters of foam concentrate into uh, my 1000 milliliter wash bottle And since I didn't get it all in there, I'm just going to take a touch more and put that touch more in there that's still stuck in the tube. Now I'm going to fill up that wash bottle, or the, uh, the graduated 1,000 uh, milliliter pop bottle. I'm going to put 97 milliliters of water in on top of it, which should give me 100 milliliters of 3% solution. 97 and 3 is 100. Now I'm going to cap it. and shake the heck out of it. As you can see I have it graduated here and as I shake it up I expand it. Since I started with hundred milliliters of three percent solution I'm going to expand it ten times. I'm going to take it to one thousand milliliters perhaps if I can of finished foam. I'm going to tell you it's only going to go to about seven hundred and fifty milliliters. Alcohol resistant foams don't tend to be quite as dynamic as AFFFs or Class A's. When it settles down, it's going to settle down to about the 750 mark. So we're at about 750 milliliters of finished foam, which gives me a 7.5 to 1 expansion ratio. We're good to go anywhere between 7 and 10 to 1 expansion as far as a UL fire test is concerned. So that's my uh, kitchen chemistry version of uh, foam expansion. Okay, let's start over with some isopropyl alcohol. You know this is dry gas, but I know it is neat or pure isopropyl alcohol, which is slightly more aggressive than ethanol. And it gives a little bit better flame for these uh, types of demonstrations. Although the activity or the interaction between the foams are identical. There we go. Now we can see the carbon coming out of that a little bit better. I'm going to go on with regular A triple F. And as I apply it, it disappears. Now I'm going to go to the alcohol resistant foam. Give that a little bit more of a shake put the aerator on. It's absolutely necessary that you use an aerating nozzle when you're dealing with alcohols. And you do not want to plunge it. You want to apply it as gently as you can. As we apply this, the polymeric membrane is forming on the fuel surface below, preventing the foam from being attacked. The bubbles that you see coming up are the vape is the vapor pressure from this isopropyl alcohol and it has very very high vapor pressure again we're probably about 82 83 degrees here in North Carolina today and these bubbles that you see coming up through this fuel are uh, vapor pressure trying to uh, force their way uh, through the foam blanket so when dealing with alcohols it's imperative that you use an aerator can't get away without using aeration as we saw in other tests today and uh, you're pretty much stuck with having to aerate even on blended gasolines today. After about five minutes, this foam blanket will disappear, perhaps even faster today since we have a lot of direct sun heat on it and the uh, residual heat of the aluminum and the glass container that it's in. 
and see if we can burn this off and see what kind of fire resistance or heat resistance this stuff has. As I continue to go, what we're going to get down to is the polymeric raft. I'm cooking the water, literally cooking the water out of that foam blanket, leaving behind the polymeric raft. And now I just blew out whatever vapors were coming up through the polymeric raft, but now you'll be able to see the polymer that sealed the alcohol from the water in the foam blanket. This is the sugar material that makes the alcohol-resistant foam so thick and gooey and viscous.